One day, Bulgy and Bertie were waiting at the wharf to pick up their passengers when Thomas the Tank Engine was pulling Annie and Clarabelle came by. So before they got into Bulgy and Bertie, the passengers went to Annie and Clarabelle. How about a race, Bertie? said Thomas. Sure thing, said Bertie. And so, two engines whooshed away. Bulgy was his grumpy self as usual. Races are silly, he said, and so are railways. Soon rolled away. Bulgy was still thinking about having, having passengers until class 40 came by. He noticed that Bulgy was his grumpy self. What's the matter? asked class 40. Races are silly, said Bulgy very angrily. Races are not silly, said Class 40. They're really good. And so, with those words, Class 40 puffed away. Bulgy thought of what Class 40 said. Meanwhile, Arthur was waiting for some orders from the Fat Controller when Bulgy came in. So, Arthur, I challenge you to a race. Would you accept it? Sure, Bulgy. I'd love to race, but... Hey, wait a second. How come you're asking me to a race? I thought you hated races. Not anymore. I'm gonna try that for the first time. Come on, Bertie races with Thomas. How come I can't race with another engine? Oh, all right, said Arthur. But I'm not so sure it's a good idea. Good, said Bulgy. And soon, Bulgy raced away. Hey, I haven't done the countdown, said Arthur, and he raced after two with Toad. You see, Toad, like, uh, like Arthur, was waiting to get some orders from the Fat Controller. However, uh, Arthur was so psyched in the race, he forgot he was pulling Toad. Stop, Mr. Arthur, said Toad. But Arthur and Bulgy were too excited to listen. And the two engines raced around Sodor anyway. Mr. Arthur, Mr. Bulgy, stop! I'm getting dizzy! But they were going too fast that they couldn't hear him. Then Toad applied the brakes when they came to Trevor's field. They then stopped. Now Arthur knew that he was pulling Toad. However, he saw Terence and Trevor. They didn't look very happy. A nearby viaduct is going to break, they said. You must warn all engines who are going to cross it. Bulgy wasn't paying attention to Trevor and Terrence. He kept on racing. Stop, cried Arthur. Mr. Bulgy, you're going to hit one of the beams, cried Toad. But it was too late, and Bulgy did crash into one of the beams, knocking the beam and making the track fall right down. Now that the track had fallen, Bulgy was very ashamed. But before any engine could do anything, they heard a whistle. Peep, peep, went the whistle. It was Donald coming at full speed, pulling a heavy log. And Donald was heading straight for the broken viaduct. Oh no, cried Bulgy. He knew it was all his fault and that he had to fix it. Then Bulgy saw a derailed flatbed up ahead. I have an idea, he said to Arthur and Toad. I'm going to save Donald. But I thought you hated railways. Said Arthur. I know the fat controller is going to get really mad if something can't won't be done, he said. Donald was coming at full speed. There was no way that the engines could warn him. Bulgy pushed the derailed track toward the derailed I mean the railed track. Then he pushed the flatbed toward the track. That how to do it, said Bulgy. Arthur, Toad, and Bulgy looked over the work that had been done. Let's hope your idea works, Mr. Bulgy, said Toad. Then Donald started to come. He moved at full speed. Bulgy's idea had worked. Donald had flew onto the flatbed. And the log was safe. When the Fat Controller came with Butch, he was cross. Bulgy, Arthur, 
You two have caused confusion and delay today. But thanks to Bulgy's idea, you had saved Donald. You, Bulgy, are a very useful double-decker boss. And you, Arthur, are a very useful engine. Arthur and Bulgy have never felt more proud. The two engines decided not to have any more races with each other. And Bulgy have learned that races are meant for Bertie and Thomas.